knob harden preform. I've got all kinds of width. I just want to make a knob harden. So if it looks like I'm being wasteful, it's just just how it is. Some of them are real wide, but. <clears throat> Most of them aren't. I'll do my percussion work here and I'll try to keep some nice body on it. Oops. I meant for that flake to. There we go. Um, keep some nice body on it and then do all. I'll finish with my little bit of straight punch work. And then um, some punch notching. We'll have a, hopefully, a, this rock is really nice, so I don't have an excuse. sort of working counter bevel here a lot on this set and that way when I do my finish punching on the other side it will be resharpening those thin flakes I don't trap usual unless you want them to step on you. You don't have to take those. You can take thicker ones, but I like to some of the edges, even at this stage, get fairly refined. And the edges are cute and they need that lower just a little bit. See that dust that I just Picked up there. Making a platform just for little blenders. Sometimes you need to do that even for those little bitty flakes. In order to do some of these point types, you have to be able to just do those little blending flakes where you just need a little, just like a little flake right there. And you can't just, you can't do that on your leg. You've got to just get the right edge on there and just really, I mean, that's, you know, like a pressure flake. I could have got a little bigger one, but it did the job. Turn that edge in there. Get it straight. those and those are it's nice about practicing doing those is that when you want to do your big flakes you spend all that time practicing on the little ones and if you mess up the little ones it's easier to you know come back from a problem and then the big flakes are so much easier to get because you spent all your time practicing those little ones
see the strategy I did there, which I do a lot and I've never talked about before, was I'm working my way up here, and I got a, you know, I'm working my way up here, I get a big flake, and then I space and get a, another big flake here, and then I come back. So I've got flat, and then do this, and then I come back. And then you can skip up, and then back, and then, and then you build, um, it's sometimes easier to do pattern flaking like that at certain cross sections than it is to just go in a line because it's, you know, you're moving thickness. You've timed it to where you're um, taking enough thickness down where you can work with more thickness removal in one pass that way and have it not look that drastic. I don't know if I can say that right, but it's a little bit more space there. So the was here and then here and then back wait here and then here and then back and now here right and now back again so I'll just brush this down and move over that's why it's so hard to communicate pattern flaking when it, it seems like it should be in a line but it's not always that way and there's changes that you can make to where you don't always have to do this. Um, but you find yourself doing it more at certain widths and certain point types. And you sort of, sometimes you don't even realize it, you know. You just kind of do it unconsciously. And back. So I did my here 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 and then here and then here and now this one now I'll because of the width you know I'm a little bit narrower here I'll probably just get one here and then and then after this it'll be punch um, it'll be punch flakes and if you need to work some series get complicated because you're doing you're working on the other face at the same time, and I think on, on this one I am going to get a little flake back here. Very nice. So I did that here, and now I can come back here. Here, 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 after a little trimming. Okay. I did my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And at least for a bold, a bold pattern. What more importantly, I can control my cross section. The easiest thing in the world would be to flatten this thing down with a bunch of big flakes, and you don't want that on this style. You want there to be some stout out body so and I've got tons of width so what I'll probably do now same thing on this edge and uh, and notch it and then finish the punch work on the blade so I don't need to show any more of this <laughs> 